Hey guys, it's me, Jay Stone, the brand mother, and I'm here with another Canva tutorial. So this week I released a batch of Instagram templates and I wanted to make this a really girly girl. I have a lot of ladies that follow me that are very feminine. And so in order to do that, you add lots of things like glitter and bling and pretty textures and soft colors. And so I kind of wanted to show you guys how to add some of these uh, bling textures, marble textures, glitter, foil, how you can add all of that to your designs right in Canva. Now, these are going to be features. Uh, the textures are available in Canva Pro. So you're going to need to upgrade if you're using the free version in order to get access to this. It's just not available in the free version. And I'm gonna drop a link for the upgrade here in the comments on this video. So that being said, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with just a blank sheet and um, I'm going to use the grid for this and I'm going to use the single grid where you just click and if you go in elements, I go into elements and click the grid. And the reason why I prefer the grid for uh, creating uh, backgrounds and textures is because I have more flexibility. Uh, you see the little um, handlebars, I can make this larger, taller, I have full customization over this. Um, in terms of height, width, or even in terms of just keeping the ratio together. Now, in most, a lot of people's cases, they use frames. I don't use frames for this. Frames are good for other things. But the thing about a frame is when I do a frame and I just went to elements and frames and I just chose the square frame, it only allows you to keep everything within the same ratio. So I can't control the width, the height uh, individually or separately, I have to, it's all in the same dimensions. And so for this case, I want a little more flexibility. So I used the full page grid. Okay, so once you actually have a grid, it's super simple. All of these textures are going to be in the photos section. They're going to be in the photos section. And if you simply search, in this case, I like rose gold. So I'm just gonna choose, uh, I've already done a search for rose gold, so I'm gonna type it in. And it's gonna bring up all the rose gold items that they have in the library, which as you can see, there's quite a few of them. And so once you find something that you really, really, really like, you take it and you drag it over, okay? So remember, there's the drag feature, because if you just click the, image, it drops it, just plops it onto your canvas. But what you want is to actually take it. And if you drag it into the corner here, it drops right in. And there you have it. And I kind of like this glitter gradient, but it works with anything that you want to have. Uh, if you like watercolors, you can do the same thing. And if you double click on the image, you can actually control, like slide it and show what part of it you want to see. So if I want to see this side of it versus another side of it, that's how it shows up. So for the all intents and purposes, I'm going to go back to my original one, which was this one. And um, that's what this looks like. Now, let's just say I wanted to maybe have the width on this one, the full width, then I can do this. And then now it's just at the bottom or it's the full size. Okay, and so I'm gonna go back to take it to just a column because that's all I want. And then this leaves you the opportunity to drop in a shape, go to elements and we can go to shapes. And I wanna just maybe drop in a, another square. And here's where you can just go in and do the color here. And then you can go in and add text or something like that, anything that you want. But this is the basic design. I wanna say change this to a different pink. There it is. And the great thing I like about the pro version is when you bring in an image, it actually pulls the photo colors. So you don't have to guess at what might be a good color to go in. All right, and so I could do that. And then now I can go ahead and put whatever text I might wanna put on top of it. 
But the other thing I want you guys to see, if we go back to photos, you'll see that there are the um, splash images, the brush strokes like here. And so I could just take this brush stroke and drop it right on here and use it as a background as well, which is what I did here to put some dimensions in the background here, right? So the great thing about this is that we, we're gonna use frames now, is that you can add this stuff to all kinds of frames. So if we go back to elements and now we're gonna actually go to the frames, there's all sorts of frames that come in all sorts of shapes. And so in this case, I'm going to use a donut, okay? And so I'm gonna do drop in a couple of donuts and I'm going to hold down my shift key so I can select them both at the same time so I can make them a little smaller so you can see everything. And then in this case, I'm gonna drop in also a shape that's a circle. And I'm gonna use this a little later, but I'm gonna take it over here for now. And I'm gonna also drop in a frame that's a circle and I want to use that a little bit later as well. All right, so let's go back to these metallics once more and that's in photos. And I just want to use this texture right here. So if I take this and drop it into the donut, it drops right into the donut. Now I've got that texture in the donut and I'm gonna find a glitter to drop into the other one, okay. So now you see how you can create, drop these into the shapes. So the wonderful thing about this is I can now put text, um, put color on top of this. And let me go down to the texture so I can find the color that kind of matches. I like that. And then what I'm going to do with this is actually drop in an image. So I'm gonna go to my uploads and just find an image of someone random and put it in this picture. Hold on, here we go. This is just a random lady. I'm gonna drop her picture in here. I'm gonna double click on it so that I can uh, arrange it a little bit better. And I'm gonna put this on top of this other donut. So this is how you can use those textures to frame an image or frame someone, right? And to make this stand out even more, I am going to take the filter and just turn this, turn her black and white so that I don't feel that she's competing with the color, right? And so, um, and then for this, a lot of times you wanna take some text and you can simply just drop text. And I just took a piece of text, dropped it in, you change the fonts to whatever you'd like but now I've got text on top of that. And so now you've created a circle text element. You've got a frame over here, you've got uh, textures. And so you can do this in any number of shapes. So if we look at this, this is a background on this one where I just create, drop this gl black glitter into a frame. I mean, excuse me, into a grid that was already there, a single grid. This one, same thing. And then I simply put a circle with text on it on top of it. In the case of this one, I actually just put a white shape on top of a full grid. All right, and so if we delete it, you can see I just have the grid here. Um, and then we just put a shape on top of it and turn the shape white and put text there, All right? And so I didn't do anything spectacular, spect spe particular with this one, this is the actual image already in Canva. So it already had the black metal part. And so there's a lot of images. In this case, uh, the grid is the single grid. I just added the marble. I found marble um, textures and you can find them again in photos. And I wanna look at like pink marble. And here's pink marble and I could just take that and drop it right in here. And sorry, take it and drop it in here and then you'll see that there it is, right? And so this is what you can play around with. And then you saw the glitter and the text, I showed you how to do that. 
And then one other thing I like is this is very similar to what I did on the design. This is one of those grids that was full size and we simply took it and made it just a small strip. And that is, that texture is slate. S. And slate is kind of like a granite type of rock. And so slate comes up. And so I just took the slate and dragged it right in here. And as you can see, it changed a little bit. We can do a little bit of a lighter one in there. And so slate and granite are some of the other ones if you're looking for like that gray feel. And so really just kind of Google textures and textures. Um, when you Google textures, they'll tell you what the textures are used for. So there's one where we kind of gave it that marble feel on the background. Um, and then this is glitter. All I did was take a shape and put the shape on top of a full frame. And so these are pretty simple to do. Like I said, you can do this yourself directly in Canva. It's just, you need to know where the textures are hidden. All right, hope that helps. And uh, let me see how your textures turn out. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks so much.